Hi, welcome to my channel. This is a tutorial on how to use the latest inventory movement system that I developed. It is composed of two Google Sheets file. These two files are connected. First is the data entry for inventory movement, which will contain the daily inventory related transactions, as well as the inventory register or the list of inventory for your business, as well as a drop down list for the different locations or departments within your business and transfer type or the nature of transfer between one location or another to another in your establishment. The second file, which is connected to this data, uh, data entry for inventory movement is the inventory movement file. This one will contain reports such as transfer summary, weighted average price, and stock status. Now for the data entry for inventory movement. So as you start using this system, you begin with recording your beginning inventory. So for beginning inventory, there would be no reference number and transaction date would be your the start of your business calendar year so if it's calendar year you use january 1 if it's fiscal year you use whatever date you start your business with and then for location from keep it in empty for now but location to you indicate whether those are those items are in the stock room or in the dining area or in the kitchen and then indicate transfer type as beginning inventory and then list all of those items that are there as well as the quantity of these items notice that location from to transfer type and inventory item have drop down lists for in these columns so for example stock room i don't have to type the whole word stock room but just choose the word stock room from the drop down list or type the initial letters and find stock room so this shortens my work time instead of typing the whole word uh, the whole phrase beginning inventory i can just type beg and there you get beginning inventory same is true with your um, inventory items Next, indicate the quantity and then the total purchase price. This column is used only for beginning inventory and delivered purchases. You do not indicate prices for transfers within, the, within your establishment. Now, if you are VAT registered, then you need to indicate if the item has a VAT input VAT component. So for this example, we have a formula for items that are with input VAT and if the item is not has no VAT component, then you keep this blank. So for example, the next item, or let's say the vinegar, or let's just say the cabbage has VAT, but normally uh, vegetables or agri products do not have VAT. So let's just say it has VAT. So just copy paste the formula to compute for VAT. So as the system computed for the VAT, then it readjusted the inventory unit price without VAT. This column has a formula and it is essential for us to use later to compute the cost of goods sold or weighted average price of our inventories next is the expiry date so you know, this one will require you to type dates now if the item has already expired the date will or the cell will be shaded pink if the item is near expiry within the month the cell will be shaded yellow next if you have notes and if you want to indicate whether 
you have paid with through checks your for your purchases then you can indicate here your check date check number and check amount next is if let's say you have purchased some items so let's record delivery receipt number for let's say today may 14 from a supplier supplier b now it would be wise to always have your suppliers deliver first to your stockroom for recording before the ultimate use of your uh, of the inventory item then transfer type would be delivery let's say I bought Ultra bind. Uh, nine of it for one thousand pesos, one thousand two hundred pesos. And let's say this has a VAT component, and it has no expiry. So you have here a computation. There should be a computation of VAT. This uh, upper right bar it tells you that the system is computing your uh, formula for now. Okay. There you go. So that's it for data entry for inventory movement. Basically, just keep on recording all the movement. Of your inventory let's say from the stock room to the kitchen for withdrawals of ingredients stock room to the dining for withdrawals of supplies etc now for the reports under the inventory movement file which is connected to our data entry file we have the transfer type or the transfer summary where you can choose your transfer type so here initially we have the beginning inventory giving us a list of the items that we had at the start of the business year and let's say i want to see how much or how many and how much items were delivered to us from january 1 to may 14. so here you have your list of items delivered to you as well as the total purchase price and the price without VAT. Also for withdrawal of supplies. So for withdrawal, we will not have prices here because we did not indicate we don't need to indicate, but we know how many items were withdrawn from the stock room. As for weighted average price, it will compute the weighted average price from the beginning inventory costing and the delivery weighted average uh, delivery purchase prices from a period that's our beginning period January 1 you can change this if you want to our latest period which is May 14 so here all of these items the beginning inventory and the deliveries the quantities and the weighted average price we use weighted average because prices fluctuate throughout your accounting period so we need to get the weighted average of each purchase which we will use later in the stock status in the stock status you choose your area or location where you want to see how many stocks should be in those locations so here let's say for the dining room i should only see all spice ground allow it to process first three units of all spice ground with this price and with this uh, weighted out uh, unit weighted unit price and value in no value out or no balance value 
the uh, reorder point for all spice was 16 units and the balance is we only have three so that would mean that we need to reorder again and then to the rightmost is an indicator whether this product is moving or non-moving now let's go back if you want to see let's say how much stocks are in my stock room as of this date so if you want to do a actual count you just go to this sheet choose the location and the date for today and then you would have the list and you should have the quantity in a while just allow it to process first as well as the corresponding value for all the stocks that went in to the stock room as well as the value that went out of the stock room and that as of this given moment the stocks within your stock room are should value at for this example 16,000 pesos and then again the reorder point so here we need to buy more allspice and eggplant local and then for stocks that are moving so apparently allspice is moving and the eggplant is moving the rest are non moving so that's it for our inventory movement system thank you for your time